welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today we have a home bargains haul i'm also going to just say this now if i seem a little not with it this morning tired that is because i am i had a very late night last night we were out celebrating with um some friends and family and i yeah didn't get much sleep last night so this is keeping me going for now i mean it's not doing the best job i'm gonna be honest but uh yeah if i seem a bit not with it <laughs> i'm not i've also just lit my candle and also put the s-bar diffuser on and i've just realized it's making a sound that might be a little bit annoying and i've pointed it out to you as well but it's giving off the fireside oil smell and it just smells far too good to stop it so if it is annoying let me know and in the future i won't put, pop it on um when i'm filming but Let's just jump into it. I'm going to jump in to the haul with a homeware find from the Jeff Banks range. Oh no, it's not. It's just from Home Collections. It's a World Globe and this one is in cream and gold. And they did have a couple of other colours as well, but this style in particular is just this colour. And I'm not a lover of this gold, I will be honest. Although it's like a brushed gold, it's not a yellowy gold, it just... I think it would look better in black. So I did check and you can just unscrew this, pop out the glow part, and I might spritz that one with black paint. But it was 9 99 and I thought for a nice home decorative piece, my vision for this will be downstairs once we've renovated it in the kind of um, dining room area where I'm having floor to ceiling book shelves I'm thinking. So maybe styled up on there. Or it'd look nice on a little bar cart or something of which actually Home Bargains had some lovely ones. I think they're 19 99 their home, um, home, their bar carts. Oh, let's move on. Then I picked up these two items from the kitchenware section for our sink, a nice kind of just bowl. The one that we've got is grey, but it's also got a little crack. So I've decided I'm just gonna get rid of that and replace it. And this is a beautiful kind of uh, warmer tone base. It's actually the color of the sink of the, kitchen sink that the previous owners of this house put in so it will go quite nicely I mean it's not the nicest of sinks I'll be honest but yeah that's for in there love using that for popping some Sephora in because again there's no plug for the sink we live in a renovation if you haven't already guessed so yeah that is for at the end of my clean in the kitchen popping a bit of Sephora in there and making the whole house smell lovely I also picked up this cutlery tray Cutlery tray was $1.99 and the washing up bowl was £1.29. This is just a really generously sized uh, tray with loads of different compartments, so I thought that would fit quite nicely. We don't currently have a cutlery organiser, so yeah, got that. My initial purpose for going into home bargains was to pick up these two items, which I managed to get my hands on. They are the new spring edition from Lenore in the Inwash Scent Booster, Daffodil and Vanilla Flower. I'm a real fan of vanilla scents. And this smells lovely. I also got the fabric conditioner. I feel like these will both be absolutely lovely in spring when we can start hanging out our washing on the line. These were both $2.99 each. And speaking of hanging washing out on the line, I did pick up this peg, um, 32 peg hanging area, which I think will just be really handy for when you're hanging socks on the line. The fact that they're already pre-pegged and they just hang up, I mean, there's the image, you can see what it looks like. They did have them in pink and blue. This was £1.59. I got some Nivea Soft Moisturiser. If you have never tried this moisturiser, I highly recommend you do, whether you're on a hunt for a new one or you just wanna try out a budget alternative to a favorite moisturiser of yours, this is incredible. It's only £4.50-ish for this massive tub. You can buy smaller ones at about £1.50 if you just wanna try it out. but. This is for your face, body, and hands. I predominantly in the past have used this on my face. However, I've just ran out of my Jo Malone body moisturizer and I thought I'd replace it with this one because it's honestly such a good moisturizer. So who knew Home Bargains now do Jo and Seth's Gourmet Popcorn. This is a flavor that I've never tried before. It's the Milk Belgian Chocolate Smooth Caramel. Yeah, smooth caramel with Belgian milk chocolate. Sounds amazing. I think I'm gonna need this today for my afternoon snack and treat. So that with a movie, that sums up my afternoon today. These are so tasty. They do loads of different flavors and they're only 70K, 70 
to calories per portion. Wow, I'm really struggling with my words today. I did also get some other snacks. This one, because I'm a white chocolate lover, I'm an Easter chocolate lover, I'm a Maltesers bunny lover, and this sums up all three. They are only 99p. I absolutely demolish the bag every time. There's actually not that many in there, so it's just like a, I would class it as a single portion. Then I also got these. I haven't had these in years, but they are yogurt coated bananas. I say yogurt coated, but they almost taste like white chocolate. They're quite sweet. They're only 99p, and yeah, I just saw them, reminisced a little bit, and just had to pick them up on the basis of nostalgia. £1.89, I stocked up on another 1001 carpet fresh. We do already have some of these, but I like to make sure I've always got a pet friendly one in for downstairs where Barney is. It's quite annoying that they only have one scent in the pet friendly one. It's Thai orchid and passion fruit, which thankfully I do love. However, it would be nice if they had a bit more variety for the pet fresh ones. They have a new range of men's fragrances, which I spotted, and I think they had about five different scents. I went for number three, Carbon, not with the intention of using or giving to Tom as a men's fragrance, but in fact, as a room spray, it smells so nice. It's, I honestly smelt them fully intending on not picking them up. However, I was so impressed with the smells of them. And I thought as a room freshener, room spritzer, room spray, it would be lovely. And because this one is in the number three, Carbon, smells very similar to something that is burning behind me right now. Fireside from the White Company, it's that kind of smoky, woody scent. It is honestly lovely. So just try it when you go and store. They had a couple of testers. Give them all the whiff because this one does smell lovely. And then when it's only 2 dollars as well, even if you don't want to use it as a fragrance, just as a room spritzer, um, I think it's well worth that money. I mean, it's $2.99. I also got this Kill Rock plug hole unblocker for the bathroom. Not that my plug is blocked, but sometimes it just gets a bit of like grime and you know what plug holes are like. So I always like to run one of these down first and then give it a good scrub every so often just to make sure everything is clear, especially with my hair. And I also rinse Barney down in our shower, which he obviously is a golden retriever, so sheds quite a bit, so it can get a little bit gross, I'm not gonna lie. And that one was £1.99. Next up, I got some of the Starbucks sachets. I just went for the cafe latte ones. It was really strange. I've always bought these from Home Bargains. The last batch that I bought were really bad. I don't know if they've switched up or if they were maybe out of date. I, d I probably should have checked that, but I, when I made the coffee, it was really powdery. So I've picked this up as a bit of a, let me just try this again, because I had to throw the entire box out. So I'm gonna give it another chance and hopefully, fingers crossed, they've not just kind of changed the formula because they were really good. That last box was very powdery and not nice at all. Fingers crossed for me. £1.49. I got some extra long matches. I just think it'd be quite handy to have up here just a set of matches just in the drawer just so that i've always got some handy for lighting my candles or any kind of incense or candles we've got upstairs and they're only 55p per box at 69p each i picked up two packs of these cloths they're just really handy for cleaning they're reusable they're ideal for floors kitchens homes and cars it says five pack and they're quite big in size as well they're 30 by 30 centimeters so i'm going to have a real good clear out of all of my cloths i might even film it i think and do a bit of kind of a organize my kitchen with me video or something along those lines some kind of organizing within a vlog and i really want to tackle my under sink cupboards which i'm honestly they need a clear out so cloths in particular i have a whole load of mismatched ones and i thought i'd just stockpile some new so I've got 10 huge white ones. This is quite a random purchase, but Bench have a whole range of workout gear in Home Bargains. I do have a hula hoop, which I quite enjoy doing. And I thought I would try the jump rope, the um, skipping rope. Jump rope is very American, isn't it? Skipping rope. But anyway, it's weighted as well. So it's quite good as a workout. So I thought in the warm months, outside in the morning or I might even make a conscious effort every time I take Barney out to go to the toilet and go in the back garden for a bit 
the fence panels that we have lost due to Storm Eunice. <laughs> Thanks, Eunice. I um I just have to go out with him now every time I let him out. So each time I let him out, I might just do some skipping. 79p, I picked up some cooking liners. These are really great for baking sheets. I get into the habit of not using these and ruining my baking trays. So I just feel like they're so handy to have. They're reusable as well. And then on the odd occasion that I do uh, feel like I could do with a disposable foil roasting tray. This, this is a two pack for £1.59. Oh no. Oh yeah, sorry, it's two pack, but I picked up two packs. <laughs> £1.59 each. In fact, have they only scanned one? Oh no, they've scanned two. Oh, so it's 69p each, sorry. 69p for two, and I picked up two packs of two. I saw these for 99p. I thought I would try them out. They are a healthier kind of noodles. If you're looking to watch what you eat, these are only 13 calories per 125 gram serving, and that is two servings within this pack. So 26 calories for that entire pack of noodles. They're 0% fat, microwave ready in only one minute, mixed with a sauce for a quick and easy meal. How nice is that? I mean, you could even just do something super basic with it. You can kind of use it as an alternative to a pasta and just pretend it's spaghetti. If I enjoy them, I'm definitely gonna go buy some more. At one pound and nine pence, a very random price point there, but I picked up these artichoke quarters in is it oil sunflower oil with extra virgin olive oil as well my mum i need to get a recipe off your mum if you're watching i want to do your cheesy artichoke bake with fresh sourdough bread it's such a lovely kind of like cheesy artichoke dip and yeah I, when i saw these i thought oh, well, i'll pick them up because they've got a long shelf life i'll just pop them away and if ever we're hosting or anything it's just a really good dish to kind of have out and people can just delve in you know i got two packs of these pet wipes they are um, really really good for just kind of cleaning muddy pores which our garden is very muddy at the minute with the builders out there so um, every time i come in i just use one of these if they're particularly muddy and they're only 59p per pack so yeah stocked up on a couple more of those and then we got a new dishwasher a few months back now and was it a few months ago yeah i think it was i'm yet to give it a good like clean so i thought i would pick one of these up from finish these ones are £1.99 it's the citrus or lemon sparkle scent so it makes it smell amazing and it gives it a good clean too what do we do about dishwasher salts because i have never purchased i've never used i've never done dishwasher salts I always just use these to clean it every once in a while and then when I actually run it on a washer just pop a tablet in. I don't even know what to do with dishwasher salts, let me know. Okay, I got one of these huge boxes of fairy washing up powders. They are by far the most affordable in home bargains. You can get a smaller box for £4.99 or this larger one for £9.99 does 60 washers and honestly it's I swear double the price in supermarkets so I always stock up from uh, home bargains with my fairy non-bio powder okay so we're onto the last bag now oh it's probably the heaviest bag to be fair I was making a recipe the other day that needed coconut oil and I thought you know what I'll get some anyway because it is much better for you than other oils can be it's really good for your hair skin nails as well so it's just a good all-rounder and it's usually a little bit pricey this one is 100 organic virgin coconut oil it's only three pound 59 for this mahusive jar so i picked that up and then um i also saw this at such a bargain price point from edinburgh gin which is a really nice brand and you know, you usually see it in the supermarkets, this sort of size bottle for about £20. It was only £7.99 and it is a flavoured one. So it's rhubarb and ginger, which I think I'm going to love. They also had a raspberry flavoured as well. I picked up some new sheets of tissue paper. I always find these really handy to have. They're only 49p from Home Bargains. I always get the just plain white one, just as a good tissue paper for any kind of occasion we've had a few recently where i've needed to wrap up gifts so i've pretty much finished all my white tissue paper so yeah i picked that up and they were all of the ones that they had on the shelf i completely cleared it i probably would have picked up more had they have had it one pound 99 i got some cinnamon curiosity cinnamon this is a winter favorite 
but I like these any time of the year. Definitely a sweet treat, but I just honestly love them. So when I saw them, I was like, yeah, they're going straight in my trolley. I've shown these in a vlog before and left them. However, on this occasion, I picked them up. So they're 49, no, not 49, 4 99 each. And they are these cake box kits from the Jane Asher range. So it's one of those kind of kits where you've got everything you need within there. They do the luxury red velvet cake, serves 12, and then the luxury carrot cake. I think maybe the carrot cake in particular is a good seasonal one for spring. So maybe we could do that together in a vlog one day. I'm feeling a spring clean with me video, fast approaching, and I saw these that I thought would look um, look lovely, make a lovely addition to that. I've never tried them before. They're from Astonish. They're these toilet fizzes, toilet bowl fizz and fresh. Blasts up to 100% limescale calcium and rust in the lemon scent. You get eight per box at £1.49. They've got a new range called, I think it's like the escapism or relax range. I saw loads of products that they do. I just picked up the one for now and it's the bath soak that I went for. I thought for an ultimate kind of luxury evening bath, you run it with nice hot water, loads of bubble bath, some bath soak and um, this will make it smell amazing, but also maybe some bath salts in there too. Do you know what? I'm talking myself into one of these tonight. It smells amazing. It's got lavender and eucalyptus, so very relaxing. And last but not least, anyone a nice treat for Barney? I might go and give him one of these now. He loves these at Pedigree Jumbones. These are like a two pack of smaller ones. And then he has this kind of maxi one which obviously is his favourite because it's the biggest. So that is everything that I picked up on my recent trip to Home Bargains. Let me know which um, other shops you would like me to haul from, any other content you'd like to see. Pop it in the comments below. Do subscribe if you haven't already and thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you all very soon in my next video. Bye guys.